it is Dr. Stephanie. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to talk to you a little bit about personal branding. Hmm, personal branding. So why is this an important topic to talk about? Well, it's a very important topic to talk about because I think it's important for us to all have a personal brand. And when I say personal brand, what I mean by that is your personal brand is how you show up, how you want the world to see you. And whether you have a business or not, whether you're putting products out or not, we all have a way that we want to show up in the world. We have a way that we want the world to see us. And so it's important for us to develop our personal brand. Believe me, I've worked with many coaching clients who, when I start working with them, one of their main uh, coaching requests is that they are not showing up in the way that they want to show up, that the feedback the world is giving them is not consistent with the way they see themselves and what they put want to put out into the world. So that is why it is important for us to pay attention to our personal brand. And so I'm going to give you some nuggets and some things that I've learned along the way in my coach training and as I've coached people that really helps you with your personal brand. So the definition of personal brand that I would like to use is that a personal brand is a combination of the unique skills, talent, and experiences that make you who you are. It's your um, presence. It's how you show up and what you bring to the world. And so now I'll talk about a few challenges that I've had with my personal branding. So my personal brand is all about bringing healing and light into the world. It's all about helping women use their authentic voice and to get to that next level of being and doing and achieving and success that they want to get to. So it's all about empowerment and love and light. So that's really what my personal brand is. And that's authentically what my purpose is. So my brand is in line with my purpose. So here are some challenges that I've experienced with my personal branding. And this may help you because you may have experienced the same challenges or you may have different ones. But the first one is being consistent, right? We know who we are, but expressing who we are consistently is how we develop a brand. And so for instance, I said that my personal brand is about healing and spreading light. And so typically that does not mean making posts that are um, divisive or complaining. I'm definitely not going to be stirring up stuff or creating conflict because that's not really who I am and that's not what my brand is about. But I did make a post on my personal page that was expressing some disappointment and frustration that I had. And what I noticed about that post, because it was not necessarily spreading light or healing, but sometimes you have to air things out and bring stuff into the light in order to heal, right? But the amazing thing is the feedback that I got on that post. People listened and paid attention. And one person even said, as much light and love that you put out here and positivity that you put out, it someone really needs to pay attention if you're bringing an issue to the forefront because you're not messy, right? Your, your goal is not to be messy. And what I really appreciated about that was that she saw me, right? She knew who I was and what I was trying to do without me saying it in so many words because my personal branding had shared that message that this is what I'm about. So that's one challenge. The second, actually not speaking to anyone. Now that is a challenge because I feel like I have um, things to say that are important for men, that are important for women, that are important for old people, young people, white people, black people, everything. Um, I love everyone. But my purpose, and I'm pretty clear on this, is that I am specifically called to speak to women, specifically to professional women, and specifically to African-American women. So when I am sharing and I am in the process of, you know, sharing who I am and creating my personal brand, I have to really speak to who my core audience is or they won't hear me. If I make my message too broad and I speak to too many people, then the people that I'm really destined to impact won't hear me. 
So, but that can be a challenge, right? Because, you know, we all want to, um, to share and share with a lot of, of people and not to limit ourselves. And then the third challenge with um, personal, with me developing my personal brand is learning how to tell stories. Now, some of you are really good. I know I have some Facebook friends who are amazing at telling stories and I wish I had your gift, but I do not. But I have had to learn how to become a better storyteller because storytelling is one of the most effective ways to communicate and one of the most effective ways to to build your personal brand. So I um, have taken seminars and classes and, and read and have learned different storytelling techniques so that I can become a better storyteller because you have maybe a few seconds to a few minutes to really get your message across and to keep somebody's attention. So those are some of the challenges I have faced with building my personal brand. And I would love to hear about some of your challenges or some of the things that you've done to overcome your challenges. Feel free to share in the comments below. Thanks and goodbye for now.